Man, only one per person? Huh. Guess I can't complain. At least I got one. Look, pal. I don't care how long you've been running in Kyoto. If you want to open a shop in this town, you gotta follow the rules. I, I told you. I already submitted all my documents. We don't give a shit about your documents! This is about knowing your place! I, I, you don't mean, uh, uh, protection money? <laughs> protection? I don't know what you're talking about. We just want to make sure you're following the rules. Excuse me. Mind if I squeeze past you fellas? Then who the hell are you, huh? Sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to come back later. We're in the middle of something. I'm looking for one of your special mochi, sir. It, uh, 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 well, uh, uh... This ain't a joke, asshole! We're talking here! You better beat it before this gets ugly. If anyone needs to beat it, it's you. Oh, yeah? Somebody might see you shaking this poor guy down and call the cops. Heck, I'll do it myself. You think you're safe because you're a civilian, huh? We'll think again. Come on! Let's wreck this shithead! Show these Kyoto fucks how things work around here! Dude, what the shit? Leave now and I won't call the cops. Now go. Damn it. Hey, thank you so much, sir. Oh, that? Oh, that was nothing. As I was saying, I'm looking for one of your special mochi. Uh, my apologies, sir. We're all sold out for today. Sold out? Ah, oh, damn it. I should have come sooner. Uh, oh, oh, wait, sir. I think I have one. Huh? We keep a few separate from our regular sales batch, you know, for TV interviews and the like. There still should be some of those left. Wow. You guys are the real deal. Think I could buy one? You can have one for free after what you did today. I, I, I insist. Really? Well, I guess if you don't mind. Well, uh, I should be going. Thank you again, sir. Genda Sensei, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. Just got back in the office. Oh, sorry, son. I got you this. Yagami. Sorry, do you mind if I talk to Sorry, son, real quick? This comes first. We've got business. Huh? Take a seat. Sit down. You're not talking your way out of this one, Yagami. Hoshino-kun told me everything. Everything about... All this shit with Shintani. I told you to back off, but you went and dug even deeper. Now you've got Hoshino-kun wrapped up in this. Shintani was practically a son to me. 
sure I told you that before. Knowing he's gone, I can barely get up in the morning. My appetite's gone too, and I'm just forcing down food. What am I going to do if I lose you and Hoshinokun too? Something came to me when I was in bed thinking about this. If things keep going down this path, is it even wise to keep this office up and running? That's not how I want to think about it, though. Huh? One of my own gets murdered, and I respond by lying in bed whimpering about it? <laughs> not happening. If you don't have the will to fight, you're never gonna last in this town. Every single person in Camarocho is pursuing a dream, trying to claw their way forward, bit by bit. If you don't want to get your ass chewed up and spat out, you gotta keep fighting, even if you have to fake it. If I can't fight after what happened to Shintani, I might as well just close up shop. Yagami, you're serious about this, aren't you? You really want to avenge Shintani? Yes. Good. In that case, Hoshinokun is at your disposal. I'll eat the cost till this murder is solved. We're gonna find Shintani's killer, no matter what. And until we do, I'll pitch in however I can. You just say the word. Thank you, Genda-sensei. One condition, though. No more victims. After everything that's already happened, I can't afford to lose anyone else. We'll be careful. As for the next step in our investigation, uh, I'm gonna need a little help from Saurisan. Saurikun? Hmm? Good, aren't they? By the way, <clears throat> there's something I need to ask you. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, sorry, son. You ate all that mochi, didn't you? Those were a trap. I don't approve of such trickery. Come on. Could be fun being a hostess for a day. Though what that club owner sees in you is beyond me, that's for sure. It'll be fine, Sarisan. We're not asking you to be their number one girl. No. If we got you a new dress, you'd look the part. It'll be one of those extreme makeovers. No. What about that mochi? I'll get you some more if you do it. No. I don't think she's gonna budge, Yagami. Guess not. I don't even know if the manager was that serious anyway. What do you mean, not that serious? What do you see when you look at Saori san, huh? No, it's not that. It's, she's just clearly not into the idea. But why would she be with the way you're approaching it? Talking about how she doesn't have to be the number one girl or giving her a makeover. If you'd look a little closer, maybe you'd understand. Saori san could be the best hostess in this whole damn town if she wanted to. Isn't that right, Saori-san? If you really believe that, I guess I could give it a try. Wait, huh? what? I'll do it. I'll be Kamarocho's number one hostess. That's what I'm talking about! Okay, uh, you can pick out a dress, Yagami-san. And she'll need a haircut and makeup, too. You don't mind shelling out for this, do you? Hmm? No, it's fine, but I have to pick the dress? Don't worry, there's a shop around here that caters exclusively to hostesses looking for outfits. You can't go wrong at a place like that. But how's she gonna be the best if she goes to the same store as all the other girls? The primary goal here is finding out what Hoshki and Shona were talking about, right? Yeah. Then stop complaining. Becoming the best will just happen naturally. Let's go, Yagami-san. We have a dress to buy. See, I knew you had it in you. Huh. That worked out just fine. Yeah, but I'm kind of afraid of what'll happen if things don't go well at the club. I'm sure it'll go great. 
Knowing Sauri, son, how could it not? Yeah, the, that's where all the hostesses in Camarocho buy their clothes. And why do you know that exactly? A, a good number of our clients happen to be cabaret girls. <clears throat> uh, anyway, send me a picture of Sauri san once you've picked a dress out. I'll recommend a good stylist based on what you go with. It feels like this really ought to be you doing this. I'm ready, Yagami-san. Yep, let's do it. We should start with the dress. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, we're specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry son. You've known Mafia since you were a kid, right? Yes. We were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right. I remember now. Mafu's family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. But whenever anything got too bad, Mafu was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafu looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafuyu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafuyu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafuyu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, 
investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now, Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafu to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Nah, it's fine. Mafuyu's basically a little sister to me. I don't think of her like that. I mean, we were raised in a totally different... Sorry, I get it. You don't have to keep going. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, um, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh, not bad. You think? Oh, hold on. Let me get a picture. Huh? Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry, Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. You're a natural at this, Yagami-san. Saori-san is as beautiful as ever. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it, thanks. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? Whoa, you look better than I expected. I'd rather you didn't stare like that. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, let's head to the Queen Rouge. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Oh, she's a knockout! I'll knock you out! Oh, no! I meant a dress! Just a dress! Hey, girl! Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um... Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girls got potential, but 
We'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah, uh, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm Shirosaki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh yeah, these guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not gonna be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's almost time for opening. We'll be starting on the floor, Sauri san Good luck. Hi, I'm Sumi Rei. Hiya, I'm Mika. Hey, I'm Sauri. Another pretty girl to round out the trio. Come, come, take a seat. Pardon me. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. Persevere in the end? I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumiri san. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Huh? I... Uh, um... Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. So sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm, maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time, a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. You mean Hoshki-san from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. I poured the drinks Hashki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there. Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. Um... Would you like another drink? Huh? Well, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. <gasps> Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aw, really?
I'm kind of thirsty. Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. Come on, do it for us. Uh, um. All right, give me your finest booze. Yay, you are the best. Fresh bottle coming right up. I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. I want to pay you back for tonight. <sighs> I couldn't. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Hello? Hoshino-kun? Sarisan made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sarisan to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we will do.
Suspicious. Ah. Ah.
stuck. Yeah. again. Bring it on. This is Yagami. Yep.
Hey. I'm on it. Excuse me. None. Stay down. Must we? <laughs> <laughs> now you've done it. <laughs> Yagabisa.